I'm Nick Rindo, and I painted a fool that doesn't do seed art. It's weird. It, it, it's it's kind of like not it's not taking art too seriously. It's like it's like hey, I'm doing art. It's legit art. It's a piece of art. It, absolutely, but but it seeds. Ha ha. You know, so there's 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 something funny about it still at the same time. I like painting and sketching, but um, I always go back to the seeds. not last forever. I've, <laughs> I've had pieces that have been getting eaten by bugs slowly, so in a way I kind of like that. It's just sort of maybe not a forever kind of thing. Usually I pick people who are people I might want to meet, if I could. Obviously, some of them are gone, but just people that I find interesting. I like to do a little research about them. This is going to be a portrait of Leon Theremin, the inventor of the theremin, which is an electronic instrument. And then uh, I just, I don't know, I enjoy doing portraits. It's kind of a challenge to really try to capture somebody's look and feel their spirit. I am a toothpick method gal. <laughs> you could put a little dab of glue on the end of the toothpick and, and then you can use it to, you know, pick up your, your seeds, whatever you're using. I've got some wild rice that I'm using for the outline of his suit coat here. I find it really relaxing. It's kind of a weird meditative thing. Sometimes it's frustrating because <laughs> it's so slow, you know, you're like, God, I just want to see this one section done. You know, but that's what kind of keeps you going is it's just, you know, building it bit by bit and it's super satisfying to finally see something come together and, and make sense as a whole. We're in our 50th year of crop art here at the Minnesota State Fair and we are the only state in the United States that has competition in farm crops. All the people who come to the Minnesota State Fair that come by to see it, there's a crowd here day after day. I've done this 45 years. Well, it's very tranquil. I enjoy um, sitting there and just losing myself and my seed work. The judges will look for uniformity originality, creativity, and neatness in following uh, the rules and regulations and uh, seed identification. Once you get started, um, you might get hooked on it. I always start with the more boring stuff and I try to work towards the more fun, interesting stuff, you know, like say the dessert for later. I think until you do the eyes and the mouth, especially the eyes, you can't, you can, it's kind of him, but until you get the eyes in there, you don't, you can't sell, you can't tell anything. Yeah. Uh, and then it comes down to what seeds do you want to use? With Minnesota crop art, the, at the state field, you have to do seeds that grow in Minnesota. Mung beans are my favorite. Every crop artist has seeds all over their floor. It's one of the uh, one of the little jokes you could plant. You could, you could just start watering your dining room floor. 
It's, it's a big ego boost to go to the fair and watch people watch your crop art. But the, the people at the walker are way different than the people at the state fair. The people at the walker would just be walking by and they'd, they'd look at it, and they, you know, they'd be all thoughtful, and they'd, but they'd be like, it's like, they're, res they're respectful, like, this, like they're in a monastery, like, oh, yeah, and then they'd walk on. People at the fair, they don't care. They, they just, they've been eating food on a stick all day. Like they, they, they pull out their phones, yeah, Robin Williams, ah, which one's your favorite? Like they, they're just, you know, I love it. Well, I'm doing a little seed shopping. Looking for art materials at the grocery store. <laughs> My favorite way to shop for seeds because you can see all the colors. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's definitely kind of a naive quality to it, and I think that's what I love about it. You know, even when you're even when you're really good at it, there's still sort of this clunkiness to it that is really endearing. Every once in a while, I'll have to raid my seed collection for movie popcorn. <laughs> it's got this sort of folk charm, and I think that's why I love it so much. So I got these pickles. Let's see, mm, Mount Olive kosher dills. You want a pickle? Okay, you're good? I'm good. I'll just take this one in. Uh, and the plan is to uh, eat enough of these pickles that I have a jar for every type of seed. So I've got all these jars. And I could slowly, I could slowly rinse them out, but rinse them out and fill them up with different seeds. And it would be fun to have just like a wall of seeds.